This puppy was born armless, but amazed everyone who encountered him, intriguing doctors to do more research. But before we start, please make sure to subscribe to MNR TV and hit the bell so you never miss any upload from us. Also, leave a like right now. When animals are born with a disability, there is a common method practiced. These animals often get euthanized right away, and it is a shame because these animals sometimes miss the chance of ever proving their capability. These animals sometimes never get the opportunity to prove that they can thrive in life too. These animals actually have any right as the other normal animals to live their lives. Take the case of this dog. When Lou Robinson met with this little puppy, born without arms, she did not give up on the dog, and in the end, something amazing took place. We may have all seen a disabled animal being born, even though we may assume that these animals do not have the ability to live a normal life and be independent, there is a chance we are wrong sometimes. Take the case of this cute little puppy named Nubby. The poor puppy had a very tough start in life. The pup was born special. He came out without arms. And for an animal to be born that way, life was bound to be a challenge right from the very start. There was a lot of immediate complications that followed. This poor puppy was not even able to approach his mother to feed himself from her breast. And there was another problem. His siblings would also push him away. And as time went on, it did not seem bright for the young dog. Since it was such a rough start to life for this poor puppy, it was such a pity looking at his struggle. And because of his disability, there was a veterinarian who gave a suggestion that Nubby would be better off if he was euthanized. And this decision came after the pup was just born. The veterinarian suggested this for the little puppy when he was just four hours old. But there was something else that made his owner go against this advice. It was fortunate that Lou Robinson looked at the situation and decided she would help Nubby. She wanted to make sure Nubby did not receive such a harsh treatment just because he was born without arms. It was not exactly his choice or fault he came out this way. Lou then took responsibility for the pup. And Lou was someone who had always been a help to animals. She is truly someone who loves animals with all her might. She is the kind of person who believes that animals should always be given any necessary treatment or attention they require. She was ready to help out an animal in need. She was an important member of the rescue team in Houston, Texas. Lou was not going to just speak out about animals and their need. She was someone whose words were followed by action. She soon founded a group called Warrior Educate about rescue. And what exactly does her group do? Well, this is a group that informs people regarding the topic of animal care. They intended to help people with their queries about how to best raise or rear their animals or pets. There is something that we can all agree on when we talk about raising animals. It takes a lot of hard work and persistence to bring up a healthy pet. And so you can just imagine the kind of work you would need to put up with if you want to look after a handicapped animal. You could even say it would be double the burden. Taking care of a pet with disabilities would be a tough job. As we all know, most of the times, pets do not understand what is best for them. There is always a need for them to be under supervision and guidance. There is so much time and patience needed to properly bring up a young animal. It would have been difficult for Lou to handle Nubby all alone, but it was lucky as Lou had her husband, Mark, who equally adored the puppy. Lou and Mark have always shared a love of animals, so when they took in the disabled puppy, they knew exactly what to do with him. The couple initiated the caring by bottle feeding the little puppy, as it was the only way to feed Nubby without getting them into his lungs and resulting in an aspiration pneumonia. The couple knew what they had signed up for, so although it was tedious work, they were up for it. Since they loved animals so much, it was not hard for them to look after little Nubby although it was a big struggle. And even though this was an extremely tough work, Nubby showed signs of getting better as each day passed. It was clear that the couple was doing the right thing. And as each day passed, it was evident that the pup was getting better. He was happy and as healthy as he could ever be. Day three came and went. 
day 7, day 10, day 16, and Nubby thrived. He thrived. His eyes opened, his ears developed, he found his sounds, smells, and voice. Lou revealed as she spoke about her precious disabled pup. As Nubby was progressing in his life, it was such a lovely feeling for Lou and Mark, as they wanted nothing but for the pup to have a future. His disability did not hamper his well-being. Lou and Mark had worked really hard to make sure he was fine, and seemed fine too. But unexpectedly, something really bad happened. It was worse than the couple had anticipated. While the couple thought the puppy was getting better health-wise, it soon turned out the way they did not expect. By the time Nubby became three weeks old, his health started to grow worse. He was not being active, and pretty soon he refused to use the bathroom, and also had a constant sneeze. It was clear that his health was deteriorating, but what could they do? Nubby was not showing signs of getting better as time went on. There was yet another thing that was strange. It was something the dog was experiencing, putting aside the fact that the dog was now always tired and did not use the loo. There was one other alarming thing he did. Nubby was blowing milk in the form of a bubble that came from his nose. After seeing that their little pup was suffering so much, Lou and Mark obviously became very scared and anxious. They became really concerned and wanted nothing more than for little Nubby to get better again. They hated seeing him so down and out, and since they wanted the little puppy to regain his health, they took the puppy to the vet. And so when they finally took Nubby to the animal hospital, the news that they were given was definitely not what they wanted or expected. The information that the veterinarian gave them was something that did not help with their anxiety at all. It turned out Nubby had an esophageal abnormality. So now he had yet another health complication to add to his list. The poor puppy now had another problem that obstructed him from living like a normal dog. He had an esophageal abnormality that was bound to make his life a little harder. He had a pocket form in his esophagus that was trapping his milk, Lou later revealed to interviewers. Their poor pup would have to learn how to live with this disability too. Since little Nubby was not capable of getting herself better, he was going to need extra help. The abnormality that the veterinarians discovered was not something he could help himself with. The poor puppy also had issues of breathing and was in need of an oxygen chamber. The hospital tried to treat his disease with the help of antibiotics. The most remarkable thing about all this is that the little pup was not giving up on himself. He did not let his disability take the best of him. He was not giving up, he was fighting, and as long as he has a chance at quality of life, we will fight to give him that chance, Lou later revealed. He was indeed a fighter who did not want to let the odds beat him. One thing about Nubby that shocked everyone was that although he was obviously suffering and struggling a lot, he always gave out a radiant glow, a positive spirit. He never allowed what others would consider a weakness hamper what he was capable of. And it was clear from what Lou and Mark saw that the little puppy was a true warrior. Would he survive, though? And after spending some time at the hospital, it was finally time for the pup to go back home. The hospital had done whatever they could to see that Nubby received all the treatments that he required. After all these treatments, Nubby was now going to return back to Lou and Mark's house. He would have to be nursed back home by the couple. Even though Nubby was finally back home, since he was not fully recovered, the couple knew that this was now their task. They would have to make sure little Nubby received love and care to get better. Both of them were clear that they still had a long way to go. Nubby, the disabled pup, was healthy again. Lou and Mark did not lose hope and were still expecting great results. Even though the hospital was not sure that the dog would fully recover or not, the couple hoped for the best and continued being there for Nubby. They took him back home to see that he could receive care and attention that would hopefully be enough for the dog to regain his health. And after two weeks passed, Nubby started showing signs of getting better once more. Well, would he be? Even for an ordinary dog to recover from illness at such a tender age is difficult, so Nubby's chances were pretty thin. Since he had all his other health complications, there was certainty that he would not live longer. His doctors were still concerned that his abnormalities would affect his daily life, plus they were unsure if they could be treated at all. Nubby's case was indeed a very complicated and intriguing one as he was still going on despite the doctor's predictions that he would not. 
This made the doctors even more curious to learn about his abnormalities. They proceeded to learn more and do some research about the dog, and soon the doctors believed that the abnormality would disappear with age. And after waiting so long to see if her beloved pup would get a future in life, the doctors finally gave them the affirmation that Lou and Mark needed. They were glad to know that all their efforts and hope did not go to waste. They were ecstatic to learn about Nubby and hoped for a bright future ahead. It had been such a constant struggle for everyone. Nubby had to struggle to live from the first moments. He then had to struggle with getting fed with his mother's milk due to his siblings. Then it was discovered that he had an esophageal abnormality, as if his missing forearms were not challenging enough. But this pup proved to everyone that you just cannot put a fighter down. Nubby was indeed something to be proud of for both Lou and Mark. They were extremely pleased to know that the little puppy who was almost put to rest with euthanasia was proving everyone wrong. They were glad to learn that people who assumed his abnormality would be a burden were all wrong. Nubby had shown everyone that sometimes a little hope can go a long way. It was such an inspiration to see how Nubby tried to cope with his condition. With some help from both Lou and Mark, Nubby was capable of moving around by doing an army crawl. Nubby would also push his face in order to get up to his back feet. He basically looked like a soldier doing his training. He is an absolute fighter who refused to stop. Despite not having his arms, this remarkable dog has been able to do what most ordinary dogs do. After some amount of time struggling to understand himself and a little help from Lou and Mark, Nubby is now more or less self-sufficient. He would be seen crawling around, eating and drinking water by himself, and would sometimes play with Lou and Mark. And when asked about the journey of raising a disabled dog, Lou admits that it has been so easy. Since it was such a difficult condition, there were so many times the couple lost hope. However, both Lou and Mark's faith in Nubby never died out. They always had hopes of him getting better. Lou even revealed that there were occasions where Nubby looked angry because of the treatment. After spending so much time wondering whether their poor pup would ever reach adulthood, the time had finally come when Nubby got to grow up. Nubby is all grown up and seems to be content with life, as he still lives with his loving owners, Lou and Mark. He is lively and always up for an adventure. He is a dog that is ready to tackle life struggles and come out winning. After learning to be comfortable with himself, Nubby was now able to move around crawling, and even his darling parents were there to make sure their beloved dog received some more assistance. He was struggling to move up and down the stairs, and so they decided to help Nubby out. The couple gifted the dog with a special wheelchair that enabled him to move about anywhere he wants. And so now, life was brighter than ever for the dog that everybody thought would never make it past a few months. Lou had also revealed that Nubby appears to be living his life and making the most of his time. He is one happy dog that makes sure every minute is spent well, not leaving any space for regrets. Life finds a way, Lou added to her statement. Nubby now stays with Lou and Mark where he is still loved and taken care of. With the help of his special wheelchair, Nubby is able to move around and walk anywhere he wants. He had remained the fighter he was from day one and is still making every second of his time count. So we must all take a lesson from this incredible dog. Draw inspiration from his resilience and spirit.